Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to dis discuss the three different types of tires I've had on my car in 10,000 miles. Let's find out which ones are good, which ones aren't. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't hit subscribe, please help me out and give it a If you could, go ahead and click the like button as well. That really helps me out to keep uh, inspired to do these things and uh, keep pushing my way towards 1K so I can get monetized and we can have some real fun. But uh, today I wanted to go through the three different types of tires I've had on this car. I only have 10,000 miles on it right now. And I had the original Nexans, which I can show you a photo here. Oh. And then I switched because I was daily driving an hour to work and back over to the Sure Contact, the Continentals. And these are the stock size. These are the uh, 275 4020s. And I had these on all four. And my whole purpose of getting all four the same size instead of doing 305s in the back is that I was driving a lot of miles and I figured. I could go ahead and just swap them, you know, rotate them from the back to the front, side to side. They're all the four the same. It should help with wear, longevity, trying to be conservative and get, you know, more than 5,000 miles out of a pair of tires. Well, in my quest to do that, I made it about four to 5,000 miles on those. And I was cruising along. Bam! Popped. That's when these things came along. Now, I do have another video that shows that uh, fun debacle with the wonderful uh, little baby air compressor that really was a joke to me. I know some people had better success, but I did not. Sorry for being shaky here. Uh, these are the Mickey Thompson Street Comps. These are the ones I chose to get after the Continentals. Once again, these are the 275 40R20s. You can see Mickey Thompson. Uh, they have what I thought was going to be a good tread pattern for street use because there seems to be, you know, there's a nice rib, nice flat rib up the middle here for, for my pleasure. Sorry. Uh, there's blocks out here that are nice and flat without any siping on them. So they're nice, you know, you figured you'd get better bite. You have a little bit of siping in here. So in wet weather, you'd be good to go along with these rain channels to knock the water out of the side of your tires. Now, I thought this would be amazing. And I gotta be honest with you, they're really not. You can see by the intro, they spun into second gear. Uh, they won't even take a soft launch off the line, let alone if you touch drag mode, you might as well just have ice skates. Now, the Continentals, these things here, I have to tell you, are a thousand times better from a traction perspective, which is strange because they have a similar tread pattern but they have sipes in them instead of blocks, which to me, I'm not understanding why they're so different. Now, I, there may be an issue where the compound on these tires is actually a little softer or better for street use than the Mickey Thompson's, which would be surprising to me, but stranger things have happened. Now, I did see last night on B. Mason, by the way, if you haven't checked him out, check out B. Mason. He is a... Uh, uh, Mopar Professor is all I can say. He knows his stuff. Trust what he says. Uh, he tried out the Nitto 555R2s last night on his Hellcat. Just went for a little rip right after he got them. And they seem to hook pretty decent with Hellcat power. And his car is really powerful. So I think my next, when I'm done burning these off, which, no, I would never do that. You know, that's just mud. But uh, once I run these things off, the next ones I get will be the... 555R2s from Nitto. Um, just going to give those a shot and see what happens. Uh, I know that the longevity is not going to be near as good as these or the Continentals, but I need something that's in between longevity and traction because right now it's an ice skate. I don't know. I don't know if any of the other uh, users out there, their 1320s, have any street tires on there, but they're not, uh, not very fun to deal with, especially in hot weather like it is in Arizona. 
So as you can see, be careful when it comes to buying your next set of street tires. Uh, take a look at uh, what other people have done before you go spending your hard-earned money on a set of tires. And wish you luck out there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Let's hit 1,000 subscribers. See you later. Thank you.